Report off a citizens of Kirkwall. My dear wife, Minette, has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safely. Pretend about the bounty on Bounty or Nanette. Come speak to me in the High Town Park. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. So you think the Templars, what, killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. I don't know what happened. He just stopped writing me. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Okay. <laughs> Do you know that in Tevinter, the Chantry receives a tithe for each slave sold? Holy crap. That's awful. But we never have to go there. Sebastian! We we got vengeance for you. So, will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the men who wronged your family? Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did Her Grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is... a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it. My parents were always prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. Who are you exactly? I am Sebastian Vale. Prince of Starkhaven. Her Grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry, but I could not stay after what happened to my family. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive, my family will have no justice. Your parents probably don't care much at this point, but I hope you sleep a bit easier. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. 
So many to deal with one Kunari seems excessive. He may be Tal the Shoth. The Winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be... ...of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? Who cares? We need this. There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the Wounded Coast. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... you Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? A little rough for a rescue, don't you think? Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah. If I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these... murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you... I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. We're under attack. I see. Hmm. Not gonna work well for you. I swear, most of the fights in this game are just dudes going, uh, I'm not gonna take you standing there and telling me I've done something wrong, so I'm gonna try to kill you. Only to get absolutely decimated within moments. And it's like, all of, all of the fights, the people are just so dumb. I have no idea why this happened. Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Well, let them come. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Okay, random flight number two. Uh, <laughs> such an over-exaggerated scream. Most of these fights also don't take too much planning ahead or tactics. 
especially if you set them up for the AI ahead of time. So it's just kind of waiting for it to be over. Like the visual effects are very interesting for all the fights, but after a while you just kind of get tired of seeing them. It's just like, oh, another fight. Oh, another random group of dudes. They're gonna jump out of the bushes and the rocks and the windows to try and kill me. And pat out the game. Oh, Andraste. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. Soil yourself later. There may be more. See, why does this have to be three rounds of fights? To rescue the Viscount's son. Like, how many dudes did they have in waiting to do this one? There was one Kunari. There was one Kunari. Why did they need this many people to show up? Did the person we killed first have, like, a freaking switch on them that alerted everyone else that they had gotten murked? And then they all showed up? Like, this doesn't make sense. Why would you do this? It could have ended after the first one and the story could have progressed and moved on. None of this is needed. And it's one of, like, the things where people don't like about the game. And I feel like if it was just more was taken out of this game, people would have liked it better as a result, instead of having to try and make it fit like that 30 to 50 hours that people expected out of most RPGs. A shard never lied, never coddled. You were worth his time or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this... Ashad. I met him soon after their ship founded. I had run, again, to escape the keep and my father. Ashad was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son. Bound by everything that means. Ashad did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess I am not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand. But it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. No problems to speak of, aside from the crowd that tried to kill us. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with Ashad. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. Well, that's just foolish. Listen to your boy, he's making sense. That is quite enough. My apologies, Excellency, for this intrusion into personal matters. There is no... Just move. 
right though. Because he wasn't in any sort of trouble at all. Until they sent the mercenaries to go find him. Because he overreacted just because his son was interacting with someone from a different culture. Granted, that culture is very likely to invade Ferelden and kind of do a hostile takeover, but you know what? That, that, that's fine. Don't, don't worry about that. That hasn't happened yet. So, there's, why judge? Why judge already? So far, he was, he was fine. And by doing that, he, he almost got his son killed. Here, you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Of course. Who else would be pathetic enough? Yes. All of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Be no heed to local superstition. The Bone Pit is mostly harmless. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. This place is quite ominous. Hubert's miners must be a desperate lot to work here. A place of slavery and necessity. Kirkwall could not have existed without its mines. Considering the way that Kirkwall is, that might not be the best of things. Maybe it was better off not existing. But yeah, way back when the Tevinter Imperium was pretty much invading this entire place and taking control. The whole bone pit was still a quarry. But it was... Uh, not yet the Bone Pit. It became the Bone Pit after one of the Tvinter Slave Masters what started feeding the slaves that were digging and, you know, mining the quarry to his pet dragons. Yeah, and dragons got a taste for human flesh, bad things happened, and... Maybe tear in the veil occurred because too many corpses, you know, every time there's bodies willy-nilly, there's always a tear in the veil for some reason. It gets excessive. An entrance to the mines. Hubert mentioned some of his workers may have gotten lost there. Oh, hey, look, it's dragons. Whoever could have predicted this to occur. So... But more specifically, there are dragon wings. Is what we're looking at here. But yeah, th th this is probably what happened to the workers. If they were in the mine. R.I.P. those Ferelden's. That were just kind of fleeing the blight straight into a dragon wing's mouth. And I don't know why Hubert. <laughs> Like, didn't know about this, you would think, or maybe he didn't, he didn't care, but you would think that a bunch of dragons and dragonlings just vibing and hanging out would be, you know, cause for concern for the locals, because you know there's going to be a bunch of looters 
you know, inside of this cave, trying to get stuff. There's always looters, all right? You think there'd at least be like spooky stories and things. So he should have known something. Like, like he said, it's all, oh, it's just superstition. But you think people like, yeah, there's just legit dragons in that cave. Don't go there. <laughs> but yeah, now it is up to us to deal with all of this and see if anyone survived. The chances of that are, eh, eh, <laughs> maybe good, maybe bad. We're under attack. But there is an absurd amount of dragonlings here, which is concerning when you see a lot of dragonlings and a few dragons, because that means there is a non-zero percent chance of a high dragon being nearby. And we don't like those odds. We don't like this. We're still like baby level here. Kind of. I, I had the experience mod on. But. <laughs> which boosted me way too much. But we're still pretty low level. We're playing on easy, but still. High dragon, not a good thing to encounter. On your first little baby run through, <laughs> through the world. But you know, baby will be fine. We can go. handle it. We're just out here looking for survivors, looting whatever has not already been looted, looking for resources, and at least the combat goes very quickly, so we're going to be running through this super fast. But this isn't the first time, well this isn't the last time we're going to run through to the bone pit. We come back, because pretty much every area in Dragon Age 2 is reused. But it makes sense because you kind of stay in the same area for, I think, what was it, like, eight years or something? Over a span of, like, eight years or so, this game takes place. You stay in the same area. So, of course, things are going to change over time. People are going to, like, do dumb stuff and try to go back into the mines. This is, like, how it all occurs. So, it, to me, it makes sense to return to these areas so much because you're just kind of relocated into Kirkwall and you're trying to make a life for yourself and like your family kind of rebuild what you had in to try and get some semblance of normal going on which which is gonna suck for Hawk but hey we're, we're trying we're doing our best trying to help out our fellow Ferelden's Hawk is just like, you know what, Carver, we, let's just do it. We're going to look good. Maybe we can get some more people to back us because we are still in Templar Town. And I am a mage. So we, we need someone to, to vouch for us when someone starts yelling blood magic outside our door. Just, just a thought. Price and Trusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where did the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed and dragons came through. It was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. You should get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Another dragon. And larger. Not a threat we should leave behind. Love how Aveline's just so gung-ho about fighting a freaking dragon. <laughs> when we're like... Dealing with bandits and looters normally on like our average day. Okay, but I was like, no, let's go take out a whole entire dragon. We can do that, right, Hawk? That's that's something we can just do in our spare time for free. <laughs> like this is this job is not worth it. Whatever Hubert is saying could not have been worth it to deal with all of this. And here we go again. 
And there we go. It's not a high dragon, but it is a mature dragon, which is considerably better than having to fight a high dragon at this point, but also considerably worse than the dragons and dragonlings we've been fighting up until now. But luckily we have Summon Dog, which I think is only a DLC thing. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, we are have it like halfway down already. Everyone's just kind of chilling. Everyone's fine. <laughs> oh, Aveline's taken a, a quite a beating though. But she, look at her health. Look at Aveline's health. It's barely moved. She's taking the brunt of it. And it's down. That wasn't so bad. Their displays is covered in bones. <laughs> That's everywhere. You can see a nice view of the desolate landscape that is the bone pit. But yeah, uh, we're done. We completed the the assignment. So guess it's time to go back to Hubert and give him the news. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. The bone pit's hazardous at best. And if the dragons return... I appreciate your concern for my workers' welfare. I could use someone like you to ensure their continued safety. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? Work together? With him? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. So, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there. But it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. He has learned literally nothing. This will be a problem. So, Carver, have you thought about what you'll do if your expedition doesn't pay off? This is our only chance, and you know it. You're so damned proud you couldn't pick up a trade. And who would take a Ferelden apprentice? Maybe in another year I could work my way up to Piss Boy. Fine, let's crawl down some holes. Good bloody luck for your sake. Well, there was that one person on the docks that yelled at him and said he looked like he got some strong arms. But, you know, Carver being Carver, all he knows is farm and fight. If it's not one of those two things, he ain't gonna be doing it. I think he prefer to do Have the fight part. Maybe a little bit. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? My eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. You're a real hero. Now what brings you here? Shuffle off to the mine. And let me finish those pints for you. Come back to that blight taking hole? I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragons later? 
Or something worse like, uh, bigger dragons. I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. I own half the mine now. I'll keep it safe. Really? Oh, be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Hawk is very optimistic and sincere with that comment, I'll try to do but better, I think she's making promises she might not be able to keep.